Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this ice texture reveal is very easy to create and it is done entirely using After Effects without any third party plugin. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and here you can see that I've already imported a couple of these files. So these are just simple ice textures which I downloaded from Unsplash and these are free. So I will put a link in the description from where you can download them and after that you can just import them in After Effects. Also for this one I'm going to use this logo but it's completely up to you, you can use any text or logo whatever you want. So now let's see how to create this. So first we are going to go to composition, let's create a new composition and I'm going to call this one main but then height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok. Now I'm going to create another composition so let's go to composition and I'm going to call this one a set and rest of the things will remain same just click on ok. Now let's open up the asset comp and I'm going to just quickly drag the logo which we have over here. Let's press S and I'm going to just scale this down something like that now we can go back to the main comp now we can start by adding the textures so first i'm going to select this texture one and let's drag it over here now you can see that it's quite big so i'm going to press s and let's scale this down so that it fits the composition something like that now we can add some curves to this so let's search for curves and let's drag it onto this now i'm going to make this little bit darker so let's decrease the contrast and let's lower down the brightness as well so that we have this sort of thing perfect so now we can drag our text or logo so let's just drag the asset composition over here perfect now we can drag more textures onto this so first i'm going to select this texture 2 and let's drag it over here now i'm going to select the texture 3 as well and let's place it over here let's quickly align them so this is quite big so i'm going to press s and let's just scale this down Let's select the second texture and let's press S and I'm going to just scale this down. Also you can see that this is rotated. So I'm going to press R and let's rotate it by something like negative 90 degree. Perfect. Let's press S and let's scale this down. So here you can see we have all of them. Now we can play around with their blending modes in order to give it a really nice texture. So first I'm going to select the logo which we have over here. So I'm going to change its mode and in case you are not able to see the modes option then you can just go over here and from here you can just click these icons and it will appear. So first I'm going to change the mode from normal to multiply something like this. Now you can see that we are able to see some texture from our logo. Next we are going to select the second texture and I'm going to just enable this up and on this one we are going to change this to soft light so let's turn this on now you can see that we are able to see more texture and you can just move around the texture however you want but i'm going to just set it to something like that now let's select the third one and i'm going to just enable this and on this one we are going to set this to overlay so here you can see we are able to see all the texture which we have added now we are going to play around with a couple of these settings so first i'm going to apply the curves onto this one now let's play around with the curves and I'm going to just add more details to this by adding a little bit of contrast. Now I don't want this much color so for that we can just apply a hue and saturation effect. Let's drag it onto this and you can play around with the master saturation. I'm going to just set this to negative 100 so that we have this plain color instead of this blue one. Now we can just copy this hue and saturation and we can paste it onto this texture too as well. So now you can see we are we have got rid of all the colors but if you want the colors then you can just leave this default something like that but i want to have a little bit of neutral look so i'm going to just remove this or maybe we can just set this to negative 90. perfect now our next step is to add some details into this so i don't want these edges to be this sharp so we can just fix that so for that we can select this asset and on this one we can apply compound blur so let's search for compound blur and let's drag it onto this asset. Now you can see that we have blurred the logo but we want to have more control on this and for that we are going to create our own blur layer. So first I'm going to create a new solid. So just click on OK. Now on this one I'm going to apply a fractal noise effect. So let's drag it onto this. Now I'm going to just increase the contrast quite a bit. Something like that. You can play around with the brightness however you want. After that 
let's place it below because we don't have to see it we can probably turn this off so before we proceed a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and i want you to please do that because i want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel so make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so let's continue now let's go to the assets and from here you, we can change the blur layer so i'm going to select the solid which we just created and right away you can see that it will turn whole thing blurry so in order to get it back just change this from source to effects and mask now you can see that we are able to see from some areas and we can fix that by simply playing around with this so you can see that we have this contrast and if i lower this down you can see that it will make it blurry and if i increase it up you can see that it will make a couple of these areas visible you can play around with the brightness as well you can make this less so that you can see that only a couple of these portions are submerged so something like that so you can see that as i'm increasing you can see that it will increase the blur as well so we can do one more thing we can go to this fractal noise and let's open up transform and i'm going to just scale this up so that we have these bigger chunks something like that now you can see that we are able to see a couple of these areas and others are blurred and we are getting some looks which we want so let's tweak this further so first i'm going to play around with this amount now it's completely up to you. you can just set it to whatever you want i'm going to set this to something like 15 perfect now let's go back to this texture and we can play around with a couple of these settings so first i'm going to just in decrease the brightness so that we are able to see some places now if you want you can move around the texture using this offset turbulence so you can see that we can move around this texture however we want and it will blur out the areas depending upon these black and white values so let's pick a place something like this yeah i think this is looking fine or maybe we can have a little bit of blur over here so yeah i think this is looking perfect now you will notice that still we are able to see some edges which are very hard now we can fix them as well so for that i'm going to again select this assets comp and i'm going to search for displacement map and let's drag this displacement map over here so on this one we are going to change the displacement map layer from assets to this texture 3 and right away you can see we are able to see some distortion in this and we can play around with this if you want to have more distortion then you can just increase this up quite a bit something like that but for this one i'm going to just leave it over here something like that again it's completely up to you can just play around with these values so here you can see we are able to see some distortion perfect now we can also add little bit of vignetting so the best way to do that is adding an adjustment layer so right click new and let's add an adjustment layer and on this one we are going to search for exposure so let's drag it onto this after that we can just lower down this exposure to something like negative 2 now you can see that it will make everything dark but we only want the edges to be dark so in order to do that we can just select this layer and from here we can select the shape so i'm going to select the ellipse tool after that just simply double click on this make sure that this adjustment layer is selected so if you double click you can see that it will create a mask now we can set this to inverted after that we can select this layer press f or you can just open this up so from here we can increase the feather amount so let's increase this up quite a bit now here you can see we have added this very nice vignetting so if you want you can play around with the mask and you can just make it however you want for this one i think this is looking fine you can also play around with the exposure to make it more darker something like that now let's add the reveal animation to this so for that we are going to play around with a couple of these properties so now to do the reveal we are going to add a keyframe for this max blur so let's add a keyframe i'm going to select this press u and i'm going to just move this keyframe to a little bit ahead now in the beginning i'm going to just increase this quite a bit so let's set this to something like 70 now we have to play around with the texture as well so for that i'm going to select this and we are going to animate its brightness so you can see that as i increase it you can see that it will make the logo blurry and as i decrease it you can see that it will make it appear so we can just play around with these values so first i'm going to select this let's press u let's move this keyframe ahead now in the beginning i'm going to just increase this value quite a bit so that you can see that our logo is completely inside the eyes now if i play back here you can see that it will slowly start appearing we can probably move these keyframes a little bit more ahead so that we have this subtle reveal something like that now there is one more thing that you can do you can just make these 
edge is more smooth so in order to do that you can apply a gaussian blur so let's drag this onto this solid which we have over here now if i increase this you can see that it will make these edges more smooth something like this so you can play around with these values however you want we can do one more thing we can select this assets and we can move this displacement map above this compound blur something like that now you can see that we are getting much better results also if you want to have a complete reveal then you can just set this blur amount to zero something like this now you can see that we have this complete logo revealed but otherwise you can just leave it to a little bit like two or three or maybe five like that so you can see that we have little bit of areas that are blurred also you will notice that the color of this logo has changed so you can see that we have this main logo and its color is different from this one so if you want to have the original color then you can do one more thing you can just change this from multiply to normal now you can see that we have added this and after that you can play around with the saturation and you can just make this little bit less but for this one i'm going to leave this to multiply now you can also add some particles to this so i will put a link in the description from where you can download these particles and then you can just drag it over here after that you can just scale this up so that it fits the complete screen something like that now you can set this mode to something like screen you can also add curves to this so let's drag it over here and just add a little bit of nice contrast something like that so if i play back here you can see we have added these very nice particles and you can see that these will really make it stand out something like this now you are done with the animation now the best thing about this is that you can just replace this logo with anything else so you can just type whatever text you want over here and it will update it so here we have this after effects logo and let me just quickly drag this and let's lower this down something like that we can probably make this disappear let's place it over here now if i go back here you can see we have our logo now you might have to play around with a couple of these settings so here you can see we have this logo reveal now you have to play around with the position of the this thing so that we have blur according to the logo and you can also change this back to normal so that we have the colors in our logo and in the same way you can just play around with whatever logo or text you want so in this way you can create these kind of ic reveals and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and in case you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one